Augusta, Georgia, home of the Masters. For decades, thousands of people have flocked to the Garden City to see the best the game has had to offer. Augusta is known for the green jacket, and every April it is known as the best golf city in the world. But what if I told you, more than 100 years ago, another sport reigned supreme in Augusta? Though we may not have a college football team right here, college football was the sport back in the late 1890s and early 1900s. In 1893, the University of Georgia played two football games here in Augusta, one against a club from Augusta and another against Furman University, the sixth and seventh games of the University of Georgia's football existence. In 1898, Georgia Tech and Clemson played their first ever game in their rivalry right here in Augusta. And in 1901, the University of Georgia and the University of South Carolina met in a true border bowl. The first two games of the Georgia-South Carolina rivalry were played in Athens, Georgia and in Columbia, South Carolina. But the third game was played in Augusta, Georgia. Since 1994, thousands of fans from the universities of Georgia and South Carolina have descended upon Augusta for an annual gathering the night before the Bulldogs and Gamecocks meet on the gridiron. The Border Bash has become an annual tradition featuring cheerleaders from Georgia and South Carolina, team mascots, and musicians playing well into the night. Though the Bulldogs and Gamecocks play their annual rivalry either in Columbia or Athens every year, one time they met at a neutral site and there were no cheerleaders, no team mascots, and no musicians. On October 12, 1901, Georgia and South Carolina met here in Augusta, here at the fairgrounds. This used to be a place where football was a mainstay. A day before the contest, the boys from Columbia took a train ride to the city and stayed at the Planters Hotel on Broad Street, now the site of the downtown family Y. Georgia's players arrived by train on game day. They were expected to arrive in town by 2.20, just ahead of the 4 p.m. start time. In the Saturday edition of the Augusta Chronicle, the Georgia boys were said to be accompanied by a large crowd of lusty rooters. Attendance for the game was not listed in the paper, but it was said to have been good, especially with the game competing with a matinee and a circus that afternoon. When Georgia and South Carolina began their season opener, rules were much different than they are today. For instance, teams needed to gain five yards and three plays for a first down. Remember, the Ford Pass didn't become legal until 1906, and touchdowns were worth just five points instead of six, while a successful extra point kick tacked on another point. When Georgia and South Carolina met on that October 12 afternoon, Georgia won the coin toss and took the ball to start the game. The team marched downfield and scored a quick touchdown. No player was credited in the paper with the score. In the second half, Georgia's Turner scored on a trick play. South Carolina trailed 10 to five late in the contest when it tried a trick play of its own, but the team lost 15 yards. Soon after, the game was called. The 10 to five Georgia victory would be the only time Georgia and South Carolina ever met in Augusta.